Snow Chevalier may be the biggest ski area you've never heard of. The resort is located in the southern French Alps, so far south that Turin in Italy is the most convenient airport to fly into. It also has 300 days of sun a year. Snow Chevalier is the name of the ski area and it has four main villages running throughout the valley. Briançon, which is in fact the highest town in Europe, Chantemel, Villeneuve and Monetier. You can easily access the whole ski area from each village and they are all linked with a convenient ski bus. And once you're on the mountain, you often get sight of the villages below. We caught up with Katie from Zenith Holidays, who knows the ski area well. Hi, I'm Katie from Zenith. We're here in Serre Chevalier, which is in the southern French Alps. Uh, we are at a height of 1400 metres and I'm standing opposite some of the best slopes I think that can be found in the French Alps. It's a huge ski area, uh, covers 250 kilometres of skiing and there really is something for everyone. It's great for beginners but there's also lots of great tree skiing as well whether you're a boarder or a skier and you've been doing it for years or you're quite new to it. It's very much a village resort, Serre Chevalier is the name of the ski area and the actual resort is 13 villages all stretched along the valley starting out in Briançon which is the highest town in Europe and going up to Monetier. Currently we're in Villeneuve which is where we have one of the chalets, we're about five minutes walk from the nearest slope and the nearest lift and everything is in walking distance. There is of course a bus system to get you around if you really don't want to walk anywhere but it's really not difficult to get around. It's a very family friendly resort, there's lots for the children, the ski school offers a, a ski school club for the, for the very little ones, the baby skiers. They also have the Pew Pew Club for the three to five year olds and then from there on up they can learn to ski or board. There are two creches that can also be used if your child is very young and wants to go into crash whilst you're out skiing. But skiing is just one of the things to do when you're in Sir Chevalier. Visitors to the resort can try ice carting, dog sledding, paragliding, fat biking, snow kiting, snowshoeing, paintballing, ice driving, Nordic walking, ice skating, the list goes on. For something more relaxing, there's also fixed mountain barbecue spots. For après ski, you can opt for an evening excursion up the mountain in a peace basher, and for something even more relaxing, you can try the spas. There are fish spas, Nordic spas, and the lovely Ahimsa spa. But no trip to Serre Chevalier is complete without a visit to the Grand Bain de Monetier, a thermal spa which dates back to Roman times and is an absolute must do. Another must do in Serre Chevalier is snooking. We tried this latest alpine sport when we were in Sir Chevalier. It launched here last season. Over to Edouard from Ski Experience to explain. Hi everybody, it's a snook. You can go at the top of the, mo on the mountain with the ski. You put a ski in and under the ski and after you, you walk at the top of the mountain and to go down, you put the seat at this place and you can go down in the slope. It's very, very funny and crazy. So off we set to have a go and try this funny and crazy sport. Some of us seem to pick up the technique faster than others, and others just seem to go faster. Edouard shows us again what we're aiming for, suddenly it all clicks, and we all arrive safely down the mountain, vowing we're definitely going to try this again. It's so easy to practice, but if you want a snook lesson, it's possible to call me and we go together to learn snook. And I wasn't the only one to become a fan of Sir Chevalier on this trip. Hello, my name is James Rampton. I'm a ski journalist. Uh, I've been a lot in French resorts over the years, some of which are chic, some of which are moon bases, but I really like Sir Chevalier. It's authentic. It didn't become a ski resort until 1941, and before that it had been vil a village for centuries. So it has a sense of charm and authenticity that's lacking from some of the more glitzy, blingy resorts. I'd certainly come here again, and I'd bring my children too. Thank you.